JT, the Asian Playboy, everybody. All right. Um, so what do you guys want to talk 6.15? Obviously we're going to 7. That's cool. Okay, that's that's fair. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Did you vent night game? Well, uh, tonight we were beginning night game, so I know oh, you... This is a, your, your first night game session. Uh, yeah, because we focused on like inner game and, and day game and we had them on the beach all day long okay. and we did like early curfew, 10 to midnight, so tonight we will be going out for like the next four days here in Hollywood, night cool, game. Cool, It's going to be fun out here in Hollywood. Alright, um, I'm just going to go over some basics of night game and you, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. I'm sure Vince has just flooded you with like so much good knowledge. So um, I'm going to try to cover some things, but if you have questions, please ask. Please ask. So first of all, if I could tell you one technique, one tactic, whatever, that got you 15% more numbers, would you do it? Oh, yeah. 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 That's pretty good, right? 15% We're just doing this one thing. All right? And that one thing is opening with Kino. Always, I always open with Kino. Even before I open my mouth, even before words come out, I am opening with Kino. All right? The universal language that everyone understands, all right? Um, is body language. No matter what country you're in, no matter what language you speak, it's it's your body language. I remember having a student who's out in New York, right? And he's this little Singaporean kid, and he's got this broken accent. It was the first time, like I was being followed by a reporter, so we got like Asian Week, you know, following us. So he got like a photographer, and I tell the little Singaporean kid to go tell this like tall blonde woman that she's beautiful. He's like, okay. Okay, he didn't do that, all right? So he goes, starts walking up to the photographer, starts following him, I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, he didn't take pictures of this. And he goes out there, I'm gonna just quickly borrow yeah. you. Yeah, all right, you're pretty tall. tall. <laughs> you're right, he's like this tall, right? <laughs> and he goes out there, and I shit you not, this is what he does. You are fucking beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> and it worked, it worked. <laughs> all right, so thank you, yeah. thank you very much. And this is real, guys. It's just not like pickup tactics. They've shown this in multiple studies. Um, I remember in one study, it was out in Paris. All right? It's actual psychologists, not a bunch of PUAs running around the city, but like actual psychologists, where they show that simply they gave a guy a script. All right? He would say this, 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 and ask for the number. On the second day, he would say this, 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 ask for the number. But the biggest key difference was keynote. So he'd go talk to the girl, maybe touch on the outside of the elbow, and on that second day, he got 15% more numbers. They've also shown this, if you were to ask a girl out to dance, go up to her like sauce or whatever, you're going to touch on the outside, you would get 66% more girls saying yes, and will dance with you, than the 33% that would say no, that would deny you. So again, you guys, like for me, I tend to be a lot more direct, a lot more dominant. All right, I always encourage that for Asian guys. You always have to be way more dominant, way more direct all right, than indirect. So I'm always, even before I open my mouth, like, I'm gonna, like stand up. Yep. So let's say you're at the bar, you're turning away from me. I'm going to go up her. This is more an extreme example. They could have be at various angles, but I'm gonna get her attention. I'm just gonna go up. Hi, my name's JT, like that, okay? Mm. I'm going to turn her, because this is like dancing, all right? The act of turning from the shoulder turns her entire body. Now, she's not a guy, so, you know, don't do this. Yeah. Don't go like, hey, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> she's not your bro. Don't be all scared, though. Don't go like, hey, all right? Don't do this spider thing. Don't go like that. Um, you can sometimes do it from the arm, but... Honestly, that might turn her, but it might not. Kind of, it just makes her squibble. When you turn the shoulder, it turns her entire body, right? And for the love of God, for the love of God, never do this, all right? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Thank you. Thank you for being here for my mom. <laughs> so, um,. Even if they're facing me, or even if it's at a side angle, I'm always going to open with Kino. All right. So, <clears throat> if I'm like completely 180 degrees, I'm just gonna like, hey, how's it going? Kind of that way. 
right? This is a small but subtle thing, all right? Um, I know like some guys probably still do the indirect, and obviously this is more night game oriented because during the day you gotta be very careful with Kino, but this is very effective when it comes to nighttime because you can also start to learn to control uh, the woman's body language, to move her around. And the force that you use, all right, when it comes to manipulating a, bo a woman's body, moving her, is about the equivalent of your pinky. That's all. All right, that's all it is. Who's taking like any kind of partner dancing, ballroom or something like that? If you notice like some women, just in general, like they're very receptive. They, you know, if you guys ever watch Dancing with the Stars, like the amazing things that women do when they're like turning and spinning, it's like almost instinctual. And it is instinctual, all right? So that's one of my, I guess, biggest secrets is always opening up with Kino. Because the words don't matter. Beginners think what to say. The average think how to say it. Experts think where to fuck her. Okay. <laughs> so, any questions so far? I mean, just feel free. I'm, I'm just kind of like winging it here. So, if you guys have questions when it comes to night game or whatever. How do you escalate from there, or how do you, where do you go from there in terms of? All right. Do you have steps of escalation, or how do you do that? Good question. Um, I talk about top down, out in. So, I'm gonna borrow you. Okay. okay. I don't want to pick on you all the time. <laughs> so if I always come up to you, I would start here at the top. I go top, down, 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 down. Because you're not going to hold her hand automatically, right? From the back, it's top, down, down, down. Like, you guys might have done this before. Or you, might, you guys might have seen this happen. Like, a guy will kind of slither up to a girl and like, hey, like that. Like, <laughs> what does she do? She goes like, ugh. Because yeah. that's a very sensitive area. Thank you. And same thing when it comes to you out in. You go start on the outside. Out, 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 in, in, in. You don't go straight for the coochie, all right? <laughs> um, and I want you to imagine, this is um, an analogy or a mental exercise that Johnny Wolf came up with, is imagine a woman's body is, this, is all red, okay? All red, which means no go. So in order to turn a portion of her green, you touch with general Kino first. So you touch on the shoulder, turns green. Touch here on elbow, turns green. Hand, turns green. Same thing, down, down, down. Until her entire body turns green. And once all lights are go, then you start to do sexual kino. Then you start to pull out the ah uh, <laughs> maneuver, right? So, did that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I don't know about other parts of I'm from New York, New York City. Yeah, I came so, from there. <laughs> oh, awesome, great. Um, and I know that a lot of times over there when you touch someone, it's kind of like a no, you know, hands off kind of right. deal. I love what you're saying, and I'm definitely going to use it, okay? But back home, um, how would I, is there a way to know if I'm going to get a negative response? Because I know I may get a negative yeah, response. Yeah, I would, I would say on one out of 100, I've had like a negative response. And, uh, you know, it happens, but it's pretty low. One thing to realize though, because I am basically five foot five, and this is, you know, with all my kind of non-classically good looking students, this works perfectly, because we're coming in under the radar. Like we can get away with a lot more shit than you can, because you, I don't know how big you are, but you look kind of burly and you, you, <laughs> you got like all this kind of stuff. You look a little bit more impressive than say I do. Um, Always, when you kino, you gotta smile, right? It disarms them. And like to physically tell whether or not a woman's receptive is if you look at her body language. Is she smiling? Is she giggling? Is she really in a uh, in-depth conversation with her girlfriend? Are they arguing? Like how open is her body language? Stuff like that. Um, but generally speaking, I wouldn't be too concerned. Like if the girl is crying or like screaming at each other, obviously not. But um, yeah, like, like you know, again, it's n not a lot of pressure. It's just like more like like tr opening the door, mm -hmm. really. So, it's a good question. <laughs>